Hi, this is The Hobbyist, and I'm very excited to unbox and test this one because this has been in my art haul wishlist for the longest time. This is Windsor & Newton Cotman Watercolors, the company is based in London. This is their field box 12 half pans. The first time I've seen this online, I fell in love with it and I said I really wanted it because of its design. It's small and it seems to have everything that you need when you are traveling and creating journals everywhere. So um, let's open this thing. Also, this video, this test is not sponsored, but if you want to check this out or purchase it, I do have my affiliate links in the description below. Let's open this. It comes with a mini brochure that features all the other colors in this series. So this one has 12 colors, but they have 40 colors for all. And it says it's available in half pens, 8 ml and 21 ml which is good because if you finish any of the colors or if you want to swap other colors in you can purchase the individual half pens or pour some of the 8 ml or 21 ml tubes okay. and also this is one thing that i always look for um, in watercolors this is the astm standard um, astm stands for american society for testing and materials it's basically an organization that uh, set the standard for performance and quality of uh, art materials. And they do have a rating when it comes to light fastness. Light fastness means that um, how long a color will last and does it change or not. So the, the higher the quality or the higher light fastness um, rating they have, then it means that it will last for a long time. So they have rated this set one and two which means that so they got one permanent for artists use so that is really really something good okay so this thing is made of plastic but it really really feels very tough and dark blue in color it has this thumb hoop they say but i actually rarely use my thumb <laughs> um i'm left-handed so I use either any of my other fingers, usually the index one, right? Um, for it. Let's open this. This is the cover. This one doubles as your water container. Else, this. Ta-da! You have this there. Um travel premium travel brush i like that it's so tiny i'm not sure about this size i think this is size two um it has the windsor and newton um, text over there and it has a hole underneath that is very very important because you want your brush to dry up when you keep it right so it's snugly fit over here and when you open it you never have a problem where to put it. You can't just like leave it here, but you can just also, it works like that. Okay, and it has the water bottle. Not sure how many ml fit, but I think it's pretty cool. You can do that. And this also has a second function, which is another extra palette. Okay, and then you have here the other two foldable palettes and the 12 paints and the sponge and what's very cool about this is this one you can actually hang it right so um it's good let's test this out i'm really curious because again for right-handed um, artists i don't think like there will be any problem but test it out this out hmm. also good easy peasy no problem for a left-handed um peeps who want to try this one okay so let's say we're done 
the water. Hold this. Hold this. You always have the tada sound effects. I mean, hey, right? Opening it up because I want to show you this half pens comes um, individual pack, and the labels, of course, they contain the information that you need for this particular color. So it belongs to series one, and the name is cadmium yellow, and they also have here the permanence or light fast rating so you have here rating um, it A so they do have different ratings of their own um, for light fastness so they have double A if it's extremely permanent you have A for permanent B for moderately durable and C for fugitive so fugitive colors are the ones that are not really light fast they would if you have a pigment a fugitive pigment over here it actually um, affects the light fastness of um, your paint so this is good it's a which means it's permanent okay and what else it has here the code for the product the product code so if you're looking for this color sometimes it's hard to remember it's pretty long can just rely on their color code for their product when you're looking for a replacement for it right so much for that let us do the swatches to remove the pens you just have to lift the middle casing and either push or pull it out and I like rearranging the half pens according to my preference so that it's easier for me to work on them so here in the first row, I put the white and the yellows, and the second are the ones tinged with red. So the first and second are the warm colors, and the last color or the last row are the blue and the green. And I also changed the sponge to a bigger one because the ones I have in my set is quite small. The colors are vibrant, they are creamy, easy to activate, and they are mostly transparent except for the Chinese white and the yellow ochre. And they're also easy to lift after they have dried up. Um, even though the cadmium colors are staining and also the greens. For the quick painting test, I am creating a mountain scene. And I did not use the small brush because it will take a longer time. So I used my Raphael mini travel brushes, six of them. And I like how the paint disperses and blend. They are easy to manipulate. Because they are transparent and can create a lot of layers. As you may have already guessed, I enjoyed using this Windsor & Newton watercolor field box. It's not just the design, it's not just the size. And let me just uh, compare this quickly with the other... Um, watercolor boxes that I have so this you can measure it this is about um, 13 centimeters in length and width is 5.5 thickness or height is about less than 3.5 and let's compare this with the recent one that I have reviewed this is Museo um, also 12 half pens uh, product of Thailand and then my current number one Van Gogh has 15 colors and then we have um, the 24 half pens Koi Sakura and also this one Mongyo so as you can see, the size, they're almost the same. This is slightly uh, shorter in length, but this in width is slightly thinner, um, uh, thicker also. But Mongyo 
open it, it doesn't have the brush, it doesn't have the water bottle or a water container. It's just this and the palette. But this one wins for me in terms of design and size because it has everything in it. So the container, the water bottle, um, the palette, the sponge, the brush, and the 12 half pans. So in design, this one wins for me. Okay, what about um, the quality? I really can't say anything bad about it. I love the easy activation, the creaminess, the granulation in some of it. Um, for the texture and even though Chinese white and yellow ochre is a bit opaque here I really want an opaque white um, because sometimes when I forget to bring uh, white gouache or my masking fluid it's just nice to have this uh, for highlighting purposes the yellow ochre I have no problem with it and even if a lot of um, the cadmium and the greens have um, stain they can stain after they have dried up you can still lift them so look at this one um, still okay so in general uh, I love the vibrancy as well and the way they blend it's also okay now um, I struggled because this is not about the paint this is about me i got too excited and impatient i don't want to wait um, when layering so i just kind of like i'm not happy with the way the water turned out here it's dull it's muddy um it's not because of the paint it's because of me i did not wait for the for the wash to dry before i put on another layer and also i realized that for this paint just a little goes a long way okay so um i am planning to try this out again of course um in other um, other work creating another art um, so that avoiding this this mistake um so my ranking current ranking is number one for me is van gogh last time check this is my number one um but now that i have this one and i have tried it i think we have i have a new number one so this one is my number one overall experience quality of paint design size for um, a field box this is my number one can't really say anything bad about it if there is one thing though i think if i'm going to bring this i might need to bring extra brush because i find that even though so this is size a5 and i have a journal that i always bring with me that size um, a6 if you are going to do like washes this is really hard to use it's very tiny so this is just good for maybe quick um, sketching quick painting and then when you go back home if you want to work on it again that is great but I'm not just gonna rely on this one I think I'm going to bring um, another brush a bigger brush for the washes so that's just the the only thing if there is but that's not a problem or i wish they should have like maybe put in like number six size of brush over there um we'll see but um yes this is my number one which means that the rest would move down um one step so my number two is van gogh still love the vibrancy and creaminess in fact they're kind of like um the same except that um well the box is bigger this one is also light fast so um, van gogh could last for 100 years if you keep your work 
in the museum condition, you know, maybe frame it in a glass or something. So I love this because it's also cheaper. Uh, this one is a gift for me, but I have checked the price and this one is kind of like double the Van Gogh and more. Third one would be Mungmyo. Vibrancy, creaminess, but um, not sure. It says professional watercolor. I'm not sure if it's really light fast. And the fourth one would be Koi Sakura. And the fifth one, current fifth one, would be Musei Watercolor Sketchers Pocket Lots. So that's it. Hopefully you like this uh, review or um, it could offer some alternatives if you are looking for um, watercolors as you are going about your journey in learning, which is what I do in this watercolor journey series that I have. Right? Thanks for watching.